What's going on guys? I hope you're having a great day. So a while back, I did a trailer video for the Super Bowl. I talked about Monkey Man, Deadpool and Wolverine, Quiet Place of Day One, all this stuff. And I said, you know, I kind of miss doing these. And every once in a while, I wouldn't mind doing one. So here's my chance. Joker Folie Deux is a new movie coming out. I really enjoyed the first Joker. I think it's a really damn good movie with an amazing performance. I've seen it three times now. The primary criticism that most people brought up about that movie was that it was too much like Taxi Driver or King of Comedy. Even though I enjoyed the movie, I recognize that and acknowledge that. Even though Scorsese was involved with the film and obviously had a say in things, it was clear that that was the inspiration. That was the roadmap. With this movie based off of this teaser trailer, it really does seem like Todd Phillips is trying to differentiate himself completely, having his own original vision and a version of these characters that we have not seen before. Of course, the film has been talked about thus far by the creators as a musical. So apparently we're getting a second rated R comic book adaptation of some of the most popular characters in comic book history that's also a musical and the only way that that could ever happen is if the first movie did as well as it did. But you can also tell the trailer is trying to do its best to balance the idea of it's not all a musical all the time. Don't be worried about that for people who hate musicals. It's kind of the same thing the Mean Girls musical did earlier this year. That trailer really tried to hide the fact that it was a musical and there were all these videos going around online of people reacting to the fact that they had no idea it was one in the theater. Strangely, one of the first things I noticed in this trailer was Brendan Gleeson. He's back there for a second, not entirely in focus in this shot, but that's okay. I'm very excited to see him in this film. He's a phenomenal actor. He's incredible in everything. The vibes that I'm getting from this trailer are that a large portion of this movie could potentially be in Arthur Fleck's mind. Obviously, the first film had aspects of that as well. I don't know if I like that yet. I'd have to see the movie and report back. I hope that the whole movie isn't just like he retreats into his mind and has these musical scenarios that take place. I imagine that it will be much more smooth than that, but I also want there to be stakes. I want there to be some sort of real world implications to whatever it is that, that him and Harley Quinn are dealing with. Lady Gaga looks amazing as his character, and it does feel like there is a difference here in the approach because most iterations of these characters is that Harley Quinn tends to worship the Joker, idolize him, and he tends to be depicted as that sort of toxic abuser relationship scenario, and they both love each other in this weird and demented way. But this portrayal, at least, again, from what I know from this trailer, does look more equal, more even keel. They're both there in Arkham Asylum. They both seem to have an equal effect on one another. It doesn't feel like she's just enamored with this person that's more powerful than her. It does feel like they're more on an equal playing field. And I'm very curious to see how they handle that dynamic because up until now, it has been very much like, oh, I love Mr. J, I, I love everything he does, he treats me horribly, and nobody else understands my love for him but me. This looks like a very different version of that, and I'm excited to see where they go with it. There's also an aspect of this trailer that I, I feel like could potentially mean something for the dynamic between these two. And again, this is all speculation, but the idea of potentially Harley making Arthur feel more sane. Just her being around him might allow him to control sort of his mental capacity, which would make him more dangerous. Or it could make him a little more normal. Who knows? I'm just very curious to see the effect that they have on one another. I think it goes without saying that all the cinematography looks gorgeous, just like in the first film. Todd Phillips really made a damn good looking movie in that last one. And this looks to be beautiful as well. I am very excited to see a different take on these characters and just a different take on a comic book movie in general, because as much as you could say the first film was like Taxi Driver or, or Camp Comedy or whatever, I think for most modern audiences, audiences, that film did feel very different. And that's one of the reasons why I think it stands out amongst the pack of comic book adaptations over the past few years. And I'm sure everyone will mention the final shot. You're going to see that shot so many times over the next few months that when you see it in the movie, it's going to lose its impact or they're going to weirdly delete it from the movie like they have been doing lately with the best shots and trailers that don't show up in the movie. But it does make me think because if Harley's the one drawing that, it's almost like she's encouraging him to be the Joker and not Arthur Fleck. So is he getting better at the start of this movie? Is she the one who brings that back out in him? I am very intrigued. This teaser did exactly what it should do. Show some cool shots 
present some possibilities and allow us to speculate. Didn't ruin anything. I think it's a very exciting movie. I can't wait to see it. I'm curious to know what you guys think of the trailer. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. I'm going to try to do more trailer reviews in the future for things like this that really feel like it could be a cool talking point. I'm not going to do one for everything, obviously, but for ones that I feel like talking about, maybe I'll make a video. Again, thank you so much, as always, for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.